Um, okay, so if you just go to new project, uh, file new project, uh, this will be the dialog that pops up. And these uh, import the following packages in, in, in the box here are the packages that you have installed. Those are the packages that either A, come with Unity as default um, packages that are installed alongside Unity, or they are packages that you have bought or downloaded from the asset store. So I've, uh, I have done quite a few. I, I've got quite a few things from the asset store. For, so all of these uh, packages are from the asset store, and these ones kind of from here upwards are just built into Unity. So this, each package adds some sort of functionality or some sort of um, resources to your Unity project that are accessible from the start. You can then import packages later, so you don't have to import everything at once and then that's it, you can import packages. But uh, just to get a start, uh, you can just select a few of the packages. It doesn't really, um, doesn't really matter which, uh, unless you want something very specific. And then you just hit create. Unity then strangely restarts itself and kind of creates your, creates your project. So this is, um, so, so building, build, compiling and building and deploying is just built into Unity. It's not a plugin or anything. It's just, this is what happens when you compile your project. So it doesn't rely on any plugins. It's just part of the Unity core system. So there's no importing of that side of things. You can see Unity as, the, as an IDE, really, uh, a visual IDE. Um, I'll go through how to build and deploy things um, on different platforms a bit later. So, so this is what happens when you start the project. You'll see this kind of empty, empty project split into various panels. When you start Unity, it might look slightly different because you can change the various different layouts. I'm using the default layout. So for instance, if you want a two by three, then it just changes the, it looks a bit silly on this resolution screen. So I just use the standard default layout to make it easier. Down here is the assets that we have imported. So I happen to just select standard assets and not much else. So these, these are the assets that are available to me at the moment. So we have things like char uh, a character in there. Uh, we have a couple of scripts, JavaScript, JavaScript and C-sharp. Um, we've got some physics materials which define how um, collisions occur the effect of collisions. We've got some other kind of general scripts and things like that. So those are assets. And your asset folder, if I were to right click and go show in Explorer, your asset folder is just the location on your hard drive. Okay? So any changes, any files that you drop into this, in, into these, into this uh, directory will then be attempted to be load, loaded by Unity if they're appropriate files like models, textures, and scripts, uh, and then they'll be available to you within, within Unity. Okay. Okay. In a later lecture, are you going to talk about version control? So um, you have a copy of the whole yeah. Story. Could do, yeah. Like we did. Yeah. I could talk a little bit about that. Um, Unity works fairly... so. One thing that Unity does, which is um, slightly strange, is that it generates this library. It, it, so within my Unity project, this is my Unity project, it's generated this asset folder, which is where you put everything. So any new stuff that you, any new scripts you write, any textures, models, stick it in the assets folder. Um, and that's the only folder, as you see, if we see in Unity, that's the, that's the, the root of the project. You can't get above the asset folder. 
outside of the asset folder, we have a temp folder, which has, one, once we've done, once we've done as already, we've got lots and lots of kind of seemingly random, randomly generated files and folders. So this is, and also the same thing with library. So this is where version control with Unity can get a little bit tricky. So SVN is so basic standard SVN isn't the best thing to use with Unity because it generates these files. Um, so Unity within the actual pro program has um, something called an asset server, which you can use to synchronize between your computers, synchronize projects kind of correctly between computers. Generally, you don't need to use that, in my experience, unless, unless you're in a team of, I don't know, maybe three people. Then you might start need to thinking about doing it, but it works fine with Dropbox and SkyDrive, and that's generally what I do. Do you do a different synchronization? My, my discussion just got so big, I, I ended up using a version that is pretty complicated mm. to do. Yeah. So this is the interface in the default view. I've outlined the key things. At the top we have controls. So this is where, you, this is where for instance, you can play your project. Um, also it has the standard uh, translate, rotate, and scale gizmos. We also have the coordinate system, whether, we, whether, whether we're using a local or a global coordinate system. On the left here we have the scene hierarchy. This is everything in your scene, every game every game object within your scene. Any game object within your scene um, will be kind of accessible, accessible to you at runtime through scripts. And if it has uh, some sort of visual aspect associated with it, it will be rendered within the scene viewport. This is both the scene viewport, as in the editor viewport, and also the real-time game view viewport. So as soon as I press play up here, this will change to the game viewport and this will be running the real time uh, simulation. Any game object that I have selected, so at the moment I have this main camera object selected, will be, uh, will then pop up as the current object in the inspector. This is where you get, you assign scripts, change, change properties, um, enable and disable and things like that. Down on the bottom, we have the project window. So this, sh this shows the asset directory. So as I uh, just showed, if I were to just right click and say sh showing ex Explorer, it'll link me to my actual uh, working directory. So this is a, just a representation of what I have on my, on my hard drive within my, within my working directory. 